We're in Salem at the Oregon State Fair, over 185 acres filled with over 9,000 exhibits to enjoy over 11 days. Welcome everyone to Comcast Newsmakers. You know, here in Salem, Willamette University is making its mark nationally in the area of sustainability. What does this mean in the context of higher education? We welcome Dr. Lee Pelton to join us. Thank you very much for being Thank you. here. Sustainability, yeah. what does this mean when you're talking about a college and how you uh, are committed to sustainability? Well, we believe that one of our uh, aims is to make sure that our students leave Willamette with a sustainable literacy, that they know and understand uh, the importance of sustainability. Uh, and that they contribute uh, to this understanding uh, as graduates, whether they're in biology or the sciences or, or math uh, or uh, English. And so that's very important uh, to us. Uh, recently, we've been recognized for our sustainability efforts. Uh, the National Wildlife Federation in 2008 uh, voted us as the number one uh, university in the nation uh, for sustainability, and the Sierra Club uh, puts its high on its list of uh, colleges and universities in the nation who are devoted to, uh, to uh, promoting sustainability on their campuses. Will students as a whole learn about sustainability, whether you're a law student, an undergrad, a business student? Is it injected, I guess, in every single... Uh... It is now, yes. It's, in, it's integrated in our curriculum, both uh, in the undergraduate college of about 1,800 students, but also in the business school uh, and the law school as well. Both the business school and the um, and the law school have cer sustainability certificate uh, programs that will complement um, their law degree or complement their uh, MBA. So it's very much a part of the entire university. So the question begs, why is it such a big priority? Well, we think that, uh, that colleges and universities have a duty, really, uh, to be engaged uh, in the larger society, not only to train uh, men and women who are going to uh, change and uh, uh, change the world and solve the problems, um, but who also, uh, as uh, lifelong uh, learners, will continue to make contributions to the world in which we live. And we think sustainability is one of those efforts where uh, that really repays our, uh, our efforts. Well, pardon my candor here, but when I think of Willamette University, I think of a, a student who comes from right. a background with means, right. and uh, you've got, uh, that's the, the right. segment of the population you have, but you're right. telling me that that couldn't be more wrong, right? That's right, uh, and I, underst I understand uh, that understanding, but really one of the missions of the university uh, is to educate young women and men uh, who uh, might not have the means to attend Willamette. We, we educate a, uh, a, a very large number of students who are first-generation uh, college-going students. This is their, they're the first in their family to attend really? college, and so we're very, very, very proud of that effort, and we've been recognized uh, for that effort uh, nationwide. Now, when we talk about uh, Willamette, I, uh, I also think about the size of the university. Yes. Now, is Willamette a university that wants to grow into uh, an Oregon or Oregon State? Uh, that may not be a... Uh, <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's see, what, what am I talking about? A larger, say a Stanford, yeah, a private right, school, or right, a USC right. that's larger? No, we're one of 300 small private liberal arts colleges, uh, and we want to keep it that way. Uh, our primary and preeminent activity is teaching, not research, uh, and we are very student-centered. Our student-faculty ratio is 10 to 1, which is probably better than most uh, high schools, mm -hmm. public high schools oh, sure. in this state uh, and uh, elsewhere, and so that is our uh, mission. We're a residential campus. Uh, three quarters of our students live on campus, uh, and so uh, the, the, we, we, our size, the intimacy, and that kind of scale, uh, is something that we want to preserve because we think it's important to uh, producing uh, really, uh, you know, really exceptional uh, leaders. Well, classes have already started. Anyone been sent to your office for disciplinary action? Yet? Not yet. Good. <laughs> All right. Yet. Well, that's good to hear. Dr. <laughs> Lee Pelton, thanks for joining us here on Comcast Newsmakers. And we thank you for being here as well. We're at the Oregon State Fairgrounds. And for the crew here, I'm Ken Ackerman. We all hope you make it a great day.